Dirt chop. Oh. Grand punch. Live. <gasps> goat Ganical. It's Goat Ganical. Guys, he's Goat Ganical. No one can no one can change my mind. This is Goat Ganical. So what we're doing today is I'm actually going to be finally showcasing the team or at least the latest version of the team that I've been running at basically every single regional. So um, effectively, I've been running Wo Chen this entire format and I'm finally going to make the team that I ran at a tournament, you know, visible. Um, the full write up and details for this team are going to be available on my Patreon. If you guys want to check that out, it supports the channel. Uh, helps fund things like paying for thumbnails and editors. But yeah, uh, so, you know, if you enjoy that, and if you enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. That's our comic question of the day, which is going to be, what do you think is probably the single most underrated Pokemon in this format? I have to say, after using it for almost every tournament as well, Garganical is, I'll be honest, like, people aren't going to say Garganical's bad. I don't think anyone thinks it's bad. I think it's just actually super underrated. It goes super positive into sun. But yeah. As you can see here, we have just Terra Flying Garg, Protect, Recover, Salt, Cure, Wide Guard. We have Terra Poison, Safety Goggles, Gyarados with Waterfall Taunt, Thunder Wave, Protect. We have Chi Yu with Covert Cloak, Dark Pulse, Heat Wave, Nasty Bot, Protect. We have uh, Tablets of Ruin, Wo Chen, obviously, uh, with Terra Poison, Protect, Leech Seed, Foul Play, Palm Puff. We have Icy Wind, Iron Bundle, Terra Ghost, Encore, Freeze Dry, uh, Protect. And of course, we have Choice Specs, Standard, Flutter Man. But yeah, let's get into this. I actually don't know what my rank is. I haven't played since I got into Master Ball really, really late this season because I've been traveling for tournaments a lot recently. I'm, I'm 1500. Oh my God, that's so bad. Anyways, let's let's use this team. We're going to use this team. We're going to get some dubs. Um, this is the team I've been most comfortable with. Um, or actually, I guess the older version of this team I was a little bit more comfortable with. Basically, when I went to uh, Hartford Regionals, I ended up finishing 6-3, right? Um, but I started off going X and two because I was not used to playing iron bundle. And now I am used to playing iron bundle. Now I know how iron bundle functions, how to use it well. Uh, but during that tournament, <laughs> I was having a bad time the, the first couple of rounds. Um, but speaking of bundle, I actually think it's one of the best options we have here. I'm going to go ahead and lead off with bundle and Gyarados because it's actually really solid. Um, I actually very much enjoy having our uh, Covert Cloak Chi Yu in the back here. Covert Cloak, by the way, is just because I can lead off Icy Wind and Heat Wave into a lot of fake out leads pretty well. Um, and because I, I, the bulk on the team with like Wo Chen and, and another Intimidate user, I felt like it was a waste giving it a Focus Sash. Uh, and also into like Iron Bundle games, you can just like not care about Icy Wind drops. As for the last Pokemon, I actually think we get a lot of value out of our. Um, I just realized these are all physical attackers. What is going on? Huh. Well, no reason not to bring the boy. <laughs> I was like, wait, th those are all physical attackers. Granted, almost all of them hit Wo Chen for super effective damage, but we can deal with that. That is that is something we can deal with. Also, yes, I did move the face cam. I think it looks nicer up here. It's a little smaller, um, but I think it looks nicer. Scizor and Haxorus, which one of you has the clear amulet? I know one of you guys has the clear amulet, right? One of you silly geese. Scizor, okay. I was gonna, one, one of you silly geese has this amulet. I don't know which one of you it is, but it's one of you. All right. So with that in mind, Terra Poison Wo Chen feels really, really good. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is actually... I'm going to go for a Protect, and I feel comfortable going for a taunt into the scissor to prevent it from going for sword stances and if it wants to go for sword stance here sorry every time i record i swear my computer gives me a million calendar notifications i'm a calendar guy i use calendars a lot there's the arcanine all right i really hope they try to go for a sword stance here because i can just encore them into that into that sword stance and have them be stuck Okay. Come on, swords dance on me. Silly Goose! All right, Silly Goose alert, spotted. Uh, let's go ahead and encore you. And I'm also going to go ahead and go for a... Um, actually, I think I also want to Thunder Wave you. I actually don't care about this Arcanine too much. Or actually, eh, getting rid of it early could be really nice. I'm probably going to get burnt. Ooh. 
Let's do this. I'm going to waterfall. What? Oh, guys, I don't know my encore mechanics. This is what I mean when I said I'm still like I was learning Iron Bundle when the tournament started. I thought that was a cool play that I didn't think of during the tournament. That's not how it works because they never actually use Swords Dance. They never actually use Swords Dance, so it didn't work. I'm just I'm just stupid like that. You go for a pounce. I'm going to lose my speed boost. Oh, that did a lot. Wait, hold on. I don't like that. I actually don't like that at all now that I'm thinking about it. That, you know, now, now that I think about it, I hate it. Um, Let's go ahead and go for a... Let's go for protect here, and I'm going to hard swap in my Chi Yu. And what I'm hoping to do here is lock them into a situation where they feel forced to Terra Water their Scizor. Because that's usually the Terra. Um, I'll be able to go for a Heat Wave as well as a Freeze Dry into that slot, and that should be okay. As they withdraw the Scizor. Okay, what's it going to be? Axorus. How bad is this? Um... I could double the Haxorus slot, assuming it's like Focus Sash. Do they e-speed me? This will determine how I play this out. Going for Flare Blitz, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I want to save the Terra for the... I want to save the Terra for the Wo Chen, because I think it's going to be necessary to win this, because I think Terra Poison Wo Chen will hardwall their team. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to Icy Wind. And I'm just going to go for the raw Dark Pulse into this Haxorus. As it looks like they want a Terra. What's it going to be? What would you even Terra into? Steel? But I have a Fire Titan in front of you. Bug! Okay, I guess that makes sense. It's not like the worst Terra. You don't end up... Actually, it is kind of a really bad Terra. What does it do? First impression? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Do I die to this? Are you Choice Banded? He is Choice Banded. Okay. Hmm. All right, who believes Wo Chen can solo this whole team? Personally, I don't, but I'm willing to go for it. Can I please just... Okay, that's what I wanted to hit. Personally, I'm not convinced. Not gonna lie. I don't think it's possible. But wouldn't it just be so cool if it did? Also, I think we just saw Life Orb, so, you know, it's not... Life Orb on the Haxorus, so we know that it's it's not locked into that move. So I actually really don't want my Wo Chen to get um, this out. I really don't want my Wo Chen to get... Uh, burnt here because that actually makes my foul play a lot less potent and like I noted it is a team of 100% physical attackers so if I can land this thunder wave that'd be really cool yeah uh, now my play is just going to be to Terra water and double into this uh, Arcanine not Terra water Ooh, wait hold on hold on hold on hold on we're in a good spot here I can one-shot this Haxorus, because Terra Poison, I'm going to eat that like it's nothing. Um, and now I can go for a Waterfall Flinch. Terra Poison, Foul Play. That should one-shot pretty easily. Or it's it's at neutral, but still, you know, it's not the strongest thing ever. By the way, uh, Tablets of Ruin doesn't uh, lower the power of uh, my Foul Plays, just so you know. Great Tusk. Okay, that's good. I'm breaking a Sash. Um... Obviously not a big fan of the fact that I'm going to have to probably eat a headlong rush, but I think Wo Chen's just built different. I think he can do it. I think he can handle it. There's the X Scissor. Yeah, it did a decent amount. Should pretty easily one shot with the foul play. Oh, it didn't one-shot. Um, actually, that might be better for me, to be honest.
Definitely just want to waterfall and protect here. If he's if he's like scarf, he might lock himself into like rock slide. If he's if he locks himself into rock slide, that's actually better for me. He could have had long rush though. And that's the concern. Alright, he's scarf. He's locking himself into rock slide. That's good. So if I don't get like KO'd by this, I think he might be within a reasonable range of getting like foul played. I could also leech seed him. Really, this great tusk is the only thing standing in my way. So it actually me it actually might be worth um kind of ignoring it for a second. Actually, let's go for a protect here. I think it's scarf. You don't really have rock slide unless you're scarf. So we'll go for a leech seed. Gonna protect. Hopefully I don't get flinched. And if I land this leech seed, I can just start targeting whatever's next to it. Dragon Claw is obviously going to hurt a little bit, but with Leech Seed Recovery... That did more than I hoped. Can't lie, did more than I hoped. Um, I just need to connect, don't flinch. Don't flinch. Or not left Leftovers Recovery, I have Citrus on this version. Which is better for me here, but come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Goat. That's why they call him Goat Chen. That's why they call him Goat Chen. Don't don't ask who calls him that. It's it's only me. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's it's only me who calls him that. All right. Um. There's the scissor. Okay. If scissor is coming out, my play is actually fairly simple. Uh, I go for a. Pretty sure I just waterfall into the Great Tusk and go for the raw foul play on the Scizor because I shouldn't drop to plus two bullet punch ever. So this will two shot. As they withdraw the Tusk, that's huge. Because if I can avoid losing my uh, Gyarados until the Tusk comes back out, they can't beat Wo Chen because they have to lock into a ground move or a rock move. Or an Ice Spinner, which is like the neutral option here. Don't pounce. Swords dance. Silly goose. Silly goose alert. Okay. Scizor never revealed protect. So what my play here is, is actually going to be to protect my Gyarados and just foul play their Scizor. Do I win like that? I think that's the only way I can win. I have to like not lose. I think that they have to, they have to bullet punch the Gyarados here. I think that's like always what they do. Yes! Okay, so I, I don't ever drop to Flare Blitz, so that's just a... I think that's just a dub. Alright, full para, please. That'd be huge. Massive. Massive, in fact. Okay. So because that happened to them, what I always do here is I go for the foul play into the Arcanine and waterfall this great tusk because he he has to rock slide he has to lock rock slide and rock slide won't ever beat Wo Chen if I land a, a single um actually I just double the Arcanine don't I yeah yeah I think I can win now All right, he locked headlong rush. So if this waterfall KOs this um, this Arcanine, I just win. But it's gonna be really close. Also, I have Para Flinch on my side, so that's pretty nice. Nice. Okay, I win. Cause I'm gonna take Burn, but he's at minus one, and two of these will do it. Yeah, I still have a good amount of turns to win. And like I said, it's pretty obvious they were Scarf, judging by every other turn. Unless they feigned it, you know? Unless they just feigned a Scarf the whole game. Cool. That's the power of Wo Chen. If you, you don't bring your dollar store physical attacker team to this match. No, none of that.
Okay. That's that dollar store headlong rush. Let's continue battling here. I like how awful my record is this season. But you want to know why my record's that awful? Because I wasn't using this team on ladder at all. As we face Soldier Drake. Alright, um, how many days are left in the month? I have five days to get out of this rank. I believe in myself. I, I, I'm different. Um, so, it's usually... I'm pretty sure it's like... Oh my god, I've seen this before. I don't know what it is, though. I think it's goggles on the... Is it goggles on the Bronzong? I don't know. What's like the only way I always win this match? I think I always have to lead off with uh, Gyarados. Because it gives me a safety goggles taunt option. I think it's literally always this. This is the only lead I can make into this. I actually do really bad into this team. And I'm going to have to Terra my Garganical to win, I think. Um, as for my last Mon... Him. Him. <laughs> okay. Bronzong Iron Hands. Like I said, I'm Covert Cloak. They don't know that, though. They don't know I'm Covert Cloak. I don't know if Single Target Dark Pulse will do it. But, um, I would say my best bet... Just double into it. Because I'm pretty sure... <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's, uh... It's, it's Mental Herb. So as long as they fake out my Chi Yu and like go for, you know, something. Oh, what are they tearing? Can you like, can you not be a good Terra? Can you be a bad Terra? I'll take it. This is still fairly strong, and I have a I have a flinch chance. Please fake out the Chi Yu for my for my maximum chance to win. Thank you, kind sir. All right, skill. We're turning on the skill button. Come on. <sighs> okay, no skill. No skill for me today, unfortunately. I've, I've lost my skill privileges. Uh, so, I mean, if I were them... Personally, if I were them, I would wild charge the Gyarados slot or drain punch the Chi Yu slot. So the middle ground is if I want to switch in something to beat that is I would go... Wo Chen. They're both weak to fighting, so I, I have to do the double switch, but I don't like that I have to do the double switch. <laughs> Alright. This is going to be a certified Terra Poison Wo Chen game. Let's find out if they're Swords Dance or AV. My bet is they are Swords Dance. Oh, that's a new one. All right. Oh, wait. For a minute, I thought it was the Iron Hands doing that. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Hold on. What are you, what are you up to? What is that? What What is what is bro waffling about? That's that's what they say, right? What is bro waffling about? Okay. So, yeah. Uh, Terra Poison Wo Chen seems pretty good here. I'm going to Leech Seed and Salt Cure because I don't want this guy doing anything. I actually don't mind the, the Bronzong staying in here. It's it's always going to be within foul play range because it's never going to get recovery. Please go Torkoal. Tinglu. Mm, now I kind of wish I Terra flying. Now I kind of wish I Terra flying, but... um. Oh, wait. Hold on. What am I going to get? Am I going to get... Oh, if I get that Torkoal, that's going to be huge. It's Torkoal. It's Torkoal. Guys, it, it's him. It's him. If I miss this Leech Seed, I'm going to throw up. Because I do have Wide Guard, right? Like, I can always just Wide Guard and, like, Leech Seed the Tinglu. But I think it might be safer to Double Protect next turn and then do that. 
because wide guard always works after a protect but protect never works after a wide guard or at least i think it's 30 percent like every other move like that all right don't miss the leech seed goat chen thank you So we're going to get that good recovery. That delicious recovery. You know what? I just realized that this thing can have fissure and I can just lose based off of that. I I, I just remember that both of these things can have fissure. All right. Well, now, now he's got the dollar store eruption. Let's double protect here. Let's scout. Not like he can Terra. And it's not like any of this thing's moves are particularly strong now because of the fact that Tinglu's on the field. Honestly, my play might just be to double attack the, 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 the Ting Lu this turn. Earth power. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Heavy slam. Okay. Um, good news is I never drop to that combination of moves. Like, ever. Like, like, ever. So I actually think what my play is going to be here um, is going to be to... Like, I know I said I never drop to that combination of moves, but it's, like, close. Like, it is pretty close. I'm actually going to go for the side pollen puff and salt cure this guy. Heat wave doesn't do, like, anything. I get a burn on my Wo Chen, but it's kind of whatever. They go for Earthquake. All right. Looks like I made the right play. Nice little bit of recovery there. Going to get some Leech Seeds uh, off in a turn or two. I do still have my Gyarados, which is going to be really important to beating this Tinglu. But I think that with everything around this not being like too threatening, it's, it's really just Iron Hands that's threatening. Um, but I think because Ting Lu has Heavy Slam, it might be Assault Vest. Eh, heavy Slam's on like standard Ting Lu too, though. Or on like non, non AV Ting Lu's. How many turns left of Trick Room? One? No, that's it. Okay, cool. Cool. Hoggers. Very poggers. So, I mean, if the Bronzong comes out, my play is pretty straightforward. There's that Bronzong. Oh, wait, it's not actually within foul play range now. Wait, that's really bad. Um, Because I'm burned. And which is stronger? Stab foul play when I have a burn. You know what? I have to do it. Please. Please be enough to KO. Please, Salt Cure. Just do it. Just do it, Salt Cure. Come on. <sighs> okay, they're going to get Trick Room up again. Um, The bright side? I do get an Intimidate. And this Tinglu is now permanently Salt Cured. And I have Wide Guard. Yeah, and I have Wide Guard. That's pretty nice. So I have to do my patented Marcos boosted stall. Patented Marcos boosted stall, bro. Also, I think its only ground move might be Earthquake because it hasn't stomping tantrumed yet and it did hit its partner Torkoal. So I don't think that it has Stomping Tantrum. It might be Protect Earthquake Heavy Slam in like a third move. So I'm going to go Chi Yu here. And I'm going to Double Protect. I really hope it's Assault Vest on that uh, Iron Hands. That's my best shot of winning.
There's the heavy slam. If he swords dances, it might just be over. Drain punch, okay. So it looks like heavy slam, drain punch, um, our sunlight's gone. That mostly beneficial to him. I would say that my best option here is going to be to get in the Gyarados and recover. So I think I just barely eat now. And if they go for another Drain Punch, I'm in a good spot. Hopefully not into my Garganical, because that actually might KO. With Heavy Slam and stuff. Actually, no, I believe in Garg. I believe in the Garg. If Wo Chen were still on the field, it'd be a whole different game, but you know how it is. All right, hopefully they didn't have the sense to drain or to, to wild charge there. Short chop. Oh. Drain punch. Live. <laughs> Goat Ganical. It's Goat Ganical. Guys, he's Goat Ganical. No one can no one can change my mind. This is Goat Ganical. He's literally just so different, bro. He's so different. Alright. Let's do some quick math. Two turns left to Trick Room. I can double protect here. But I think it's actually better just to go hard Chi Yu on the Thunder Punch. Now let me think. If I go hard Chi Yu on the Thunder Punch, I get another Intimidate off before I recover. I think that's better. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Chi Yu on the Thunder Punch and protect here. Because it lets me get just another Intimidate off. Also, this match has taken so long, I think the sun is setting in-game. Rock Slide? Okay, Chiyu can eat. Chiyu can eat. Wild Charge? Chiyu can eat. Chiyu can't eat, actually. But that second Intimidate's really big. Because my play is becoming pretty straightforward. Alright, I don't think Iron Hands ever KOs Garganical now. We have one turn left to Trick Room. So my play here is... Let me think. Does the double ever KO me? We saw how much the double did last time. I think we're. I think I have to just attack. I have to attack to take full advantage of this turn. You go for a rock slide. Gyarados is going to dodge because he's great. All right. Cool. That's fine. He's taking recoil. I got to recover off. Also, we see that their absolute minimum speed, Ting Lu. So actually, I have a much greater chance of winning now that the trick room's over. The other thing is these drain punches are going to get really annoying. Yeah, I was thinking that they were just going to double the, the Garganical that turn, so I was like, okay, I can I can take advantage here. Maybe there was a little bit of a throw, but I think I'm fine, just barely. Because if it goes to timer, the way that I win is I just recover the final turn. All 
All right. Uh, this turn, I always salt care Iron Hands. I don't think Heavy Slam into Drain Punch ever KOs. And then I just alternate Protect Recover and stuff. Yeah, they they never they never recover enough because Garganical's HP stats much lower than Iron Hands. So I slowly win by just going because basically Salt Cure will do flat damage. It's gonna do one um, is it one eighth? No, one tenth. I'm stupid. Uh, one eighth. It does one eighth of their health. So basically, I just alternate like protects and stuff. And that's just my win con. Like, it's going to be a slow win con, but I can also just play timer. And they might just end up running out of, like, drain punches or thinking, hey, this isn't worth it. I hate playing stall. They might think, oh, this isn't worth it. Can you do that? That'd be much quicker. I should recover here just to make sure I'm always out of range of, like, a crit. Because I'm not going to need too many of these recovers if I win by timer. I only need one well-timed recover, and I just click at the final turn. I'll recover here just to make sure I'm not within crit range. Yeah, you can see I'm just slowly winning. Because now I can just click Salt Cure and get a little bit more chip damage each turn. Obviously not, you know, it's not like doubling the effect of Salt Cure. I just get to click an attack. Okay, um, they're trying to they're trying to conserve their uh, their PP, or they're trying to status me, but they can't. So, yeah, that's totally AV then. <laughs> All right, here I salt cure. Can you ice punch me again? That'd be so funny. Just a little bit. It helps. It's going to be a long end game, guys. <laughs> you know what? I'll do you all a favor. I'll pause until the I'll, I'll pause until the match is about to end and then I'll come back. I'll see you in a second, guys. Okay, unpaused it cuz there are 2 minutes left in the match. And I think I just always win by spamming recover. They have to crit me to win now, so I I win by timer stall. Is the, is the gist of it. See, they, they get a little bit there. Um, the only thing that's concerning me is I do have a Wo Chen on my team, which has a decent amount of HP. And if you don't know how it gets settled, it gets settled by HP percentages. So the Iron Hands, if it takes up a high enough percentage of their team's HP, that actually could lose me the game. <laughs> So I just have to make sure I'm at as high of an HP stat as possible. Uh, and yeah, so if you don't know, here's how you win a stall endgame. I feel like I've timered more people in my career than anyone who's ever played this game. There's a lot of videos of me timering people. Like it is not uncommon. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, here's, here's how it works, right? So I have 17 seconds left on my move timer. I'm going to let it just run out. Um... Yeah, so I'm just going to let it run out. Here's also a cool mechanic I can show you. If you let the move timer run out, it'll click the last move that you have, or the first move that you have, which is Protect. This is a fun little mechanic. It's actually really solid for timer stalling because it makes it so you just get a little bit more time out of it, right? Um, and yeah, now we have 27 seconds. The last turn won't happen. The way that this game does it is the last turn just doesn't happen. Um, so it, we win the match in approximately 10 seconds. 
and it's optimal to not click a move here because the match is just going to end regardless. Actually, I think it forces you to click a move. Let me see. Yep, it does force you to click a move. So we'll click, uh, we'll click recover. Why not? Yep, and that's the win. So yeah, that's how it works. Um, I, yeah, that's a good learning opportunity. That's how you win uh, off a timer. And some people will say, I don't like that you win off a timer. It's, it's literally a win condition within the game that you are allowed to play towards. That is how it works. So yeah, um, you know, some people have a sour taste or a sour attitude about timer wins, but that was the win condition. In competitive Pokemon, you play for your win condition, whether it be the timer or accidentally spilling a Pepsi fire on your opponent's switch. These are, no, don't do that second one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, that's how it works. Anyways. Uh, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!